there are always people who are going to oppose something, you know, whether that's lucid dreaming, you know, a diet, a belief that you hold, or politics, or whatever. There's always going to be somebody, somebody on the opposite side of the opinion that you hold. And so today's question is from uh, a person who would like to re remain anonymous, and they said, what's your experience with people who oppose lucid dreaming? Meaning people who just don't like the idea, they think it's fake, they don't like the concept of it, they don't like people who do it, or they just don't want to try, or even don't care. There are a lot of people in today's society, especially in the Western world, who when you tell them you're learning how to lucid dream, they will either laugh at you, or they just won't think you're telling the truth, they'll think it's nonsense. And my opinion to these people, and how I deal with these people, is the same as my opinion towards people who eat meat, or, or dairy. Um, as some of you know, I'm a vegan now, and I have been for a while, and, and so my opinion when I see others eating meat is not that I want to convert them, you know, it's not that I want to change their opinion or beliefs to match mine, it's more that I know how they feel, because I was once them. I once ate meat and held that belief. I remember thinking very strongly at that point in time that vegans were ridiculous and I would never convert to veganism, I'd never even consider giving up meat, and I thought the whole concept was stupid. And I look back in shame now on that belief, and I, I remember thinking that I just couldn't have my mind changed. And so because that's how people are, right, people are very, we're not only creatures of, of comfort, but we like to hold on to those beliefs that we, that we already have, and we don't like to listen to any information, really, that challenges those beliefs, unless you're open-minded. Uh, and I encourage you to become open-minded, always question your beliefs about everything. But for those people, and, and it is sadly the majority, who don't like having their opinions or beliefs challenged, nothing you can really say, unless, you're, unless you have a massive debate and they're open-minded in some way, nothing you can really say is going to change their mind anyway. And it's the same with lucid dreaming. You and I know that lucid dreaming is amazing. It's not only real and proven, but it's also a way to improve your life, experience your fantasies, improve your sleep. There are many benefits to it. We know it's real, we know it happens. Uh, so to then, to then try and convert somebody else who doesn't believe in it to suddenly believing in it, you have to let them find their own way. Okay, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And the same is true of this. Uh, whether it's trying to tell someone why they should go vegan or tell somebody why they should learn to lucid dream or whatever it is, whatever idea you're trying to sell to somebody, you have to you have to present the information to them in a completely unbiased way. Just let them know. You don't have to let them know with the with the view of changing their opinion. Just let them know your opinion, your belief, uh, and why you have that belief, why you have that why have you formed that opinion. So say with lucid dreaming, right? Say if you've had a lucid dream, or even more than one lucid dream, and you know it's amazing. Uh, so then when someone, when someone challenges that belief, when someone says, I don't believe it's real, or I don't see the point of it, don't try and change their mind. Just tell them why you've made up yours. Um, and not only will that avoid, not only will that avoid arguments and, you know, getting dicey over, over possibly even losing friends over this, this belief, just tell them what you're doing, why you're doing it, and then if they're open-minded enough, if they're curious enough, they will ask more questions. They will want to learn more. And yeah, it's the same, with, it's the same with, um, with health and diet. I try not to convert anybody to being vegan or even to giving up meat or dairy because the truth is that they, they can't really be changed by just what I say. I, couldn't, I, I was not changed by something somebody else said. I had to do my own research and that sparked a bit of curiosity. And then that led to me watching another video, and another one, and reading another article, and I sort of went down this rabbit hole of what if veganism is healthier? And I discovered eventually that obviously it is. But I couldn't have formed that opinion by just somebody at the bar saying, you should go vegan, because I'm vegan, and you know, I, I wouldn't have listened to them. I would have ridiculed them. And I think a lot of people are the same. You can't change somebody's mind just by telling them that they should change their mind. You have to, they have to form their own opinion in their own time. So the best thing you can do, if your friends don't like the idea of lucid dreaming, if your family doesn't think you should learn, just tell them. Just let them know. Just just present them the information, whether it's you know a study showing that it's real, or whether it's uh, a list of benefits, a list of stories, or a collection of anecdotes from people that have used it to learn a skill, improve their life, or whatever it is. Present them the information and say this this here, this information or this this study is pretty interesting. You know you should read it. I did, I found it quite interesting. Here it is. And then just walk away, just let them know. That's all you need to do. Okay, don't just, don't hammer it home. Don't try and say, you know, you have to read this and you know, you're wrong and you need to change your, don't do any of that. 
because it won't work. Just give them the information calmly and then walk away. Let them make their own opinion and make their own mind up. And if they're smart or if you know they're open-minded, if they're curious uh, and the time is right, they will read it. They will learn, they will change their opinion. Uh, but if not, that's fine, it doesn't matter. At least you haven't lost a friend. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description, you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed, or gone onto my website or something like that.